On today's episode of The North American Journeyman, we attempt to pick up our first piece of silverware, but it's been made that much harder because somebody, two days before the game, went down injured. Yep, that's right. It's Yessi Mina, twisted knee. He's out five to eight days. He's orange, injured. Back to training in three days. I'm just going to put him on the bench, just in case, instead of bringing in this Torres guy, because he's unhappy about his playing time. Uh, In the interim, Sebao has not played their game in the Cup. in the Caribbean Cup, but they did fire their coach because they lost in the semifinals. So it doesn't matter how they do in this Caribbean Cup, apparently. They weren't happy about finishing third. So that's good. There's also a couple other nice jobs available. Saprisa, Herediano, two of the top Teams in Costa Rica, very interesting to me. Also another one, Isidro Matapan in El Salvador is one of the top clubs there. Not so good maybe anymore, but I think around like early 2010s, 2010, 2013 or whatever, they were like the team in El Salvador. And that's about it. So we are on to the first leg of the final. It's at home. And dogs are going to be barking a little bit here because they're excited for the final. This is the team I'm putting out there. They got a nice little partnership going here. They got a nice little partnership going here. Chong's the one who's coming in for Yessi Mina. Otardo's still on the right wing because David Gonzalez is still going to be out. Not even ready for a fitness test. But let's go do this. Let's see if we can pick up our first title. First piece of silverware, our only chance, because there is no cup. Leave your mark. I have faith, point a finger, make the difference. You got this. They're playing Jeremy Baez in the midfield. He's a kind of a ball-winning midfielder. We're keeping an eye on. They got two pretty okay strikers. They have the best goalkeeper in the league. In Ortiga, we leave the Harry Potter wall. We're onto the pitch. Don't shake hands with their manager. Don't even look at him. Let's go beat these guys. Our last loss, only loss, I think, of the entire season was to Pantoja. We're missing two of our best players. But we're here for silverware, so let's see what we can do. Possession's all us. You'll love to see it. Early encouragement. No shots. Good possession. Tardos on a yellow. And our wingers are both playing 6.5. Are we all Yessi Mina? The red should be us. I mean, come on, guys. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's do that. I mean, we have good players outside of Yessi Mina. Gomez has like 23 goals this season. Just before half, it's their ball. What are they going to do with it? Just outside our box, Baez. Renteria, he's offside. Horrible finish, though. Oh, changes never came in. Why is that ever a thing? Where I hit confirm and this little box shows up in the corner. I hate that. Wow, one shot in the entire first half from them. 
keep going, keep going, keep going. Any other changes I want to make? Tardo's not playing good. Could bring Josh Garcia in. Yeah, it's a big call, but we're going to do it. Victoria's nervous. Mina's motivated. He's like, it's just a twisted knee. If I bring him on, he's going to miss the second leg. I, I almost guarantee it. We might bring him on for like the last five minutes. Especially if we don't have a shot on target at that point. Try that. What a cagey first leg of a final. Neither team wants to go for it. Bulashov is not playing good. He might be the switch. Everybody's nervous. Nobody know what's to, knows what to do. Nobody knows how to play in this kind of a situation. All right, Victoria is going to come in. We're going to try this. Just two big teams canceling each other out, not knowing what to do. 0 0.05 XG for each. Neither team, well, they have one shot on target. Our crossing has been poor today. Oh, here we go. We got a highlight. It's through us. Gomez. Gets it out wide. Garcia, can he play somebody through? Take him on, maybe? Get a penalty? Laverne skies it over. Oh, man. Mina? The fans are chanting for him. You can hear him. Mina, Mina, Mina. We're doing it. Last five minutes. Mina, get on there. Try to score the winning goal. It's like, you got it, boss. They're upset. Their center backs are playing really good. Okay, nothing happened. One okay chance. Mina doesn't go down injured. Nil-nil to their place. Five shots, nothing on target. Romero gets booked. Atardo, I think, might actually be out for the final now. Okay. It's just one of those days, guys. It's all right. You defended well. Chong, you did nothing. Abulashov, you weren't at your best. That's all I'm going to do for now. Haler Gomez, yeah. Not happy. Okay, he's motivated. Well, what do I think? Um... It was boring. <laughs> okay, well, it's going to be a tight contest. Mina should be back, though. We'll be back for the next one. Okay, we're back for the second leg. Moncada goes down, center midfielder, who's been bossing it for us. On loan from Atlantico. Might buy the guy. So Atardo's swapping back over. Garcia's going to come in on the right. Mina's back. This is the starters. This is everybody. Valencia really hasn't played very good. is not super fit, though. Garcia's kind of the big question mark. Gonzalez, def he's seven days away, but he's not ready to come in. So we can't bring him in. This is for... The league for silverware to be the top team in Dominican. Let's go get it done. Do it for the fans. 
Here's what we do. We go, hands in pockets. I got faith in you guys. Now on the hips, I really have faith in you. Now I pump in the fists. Looks like we're playing in the national team stadium, which is their home stadium. 442 versus 442 on steroids. Let's go. They got like a tricolor sash. Interesting. Or is it just green and white on the blue? Looks pretty smart. Let's see if we can catch any highlights this game. Possession is all us again, but not any shots coming through. But we do have Mina this time. Come on, boys. We're not creating anything. There's a shot. Cordoba's on a yellow. We go positive. Here we go, a Bulashov, the free kick. Rips one, ooh, just wide. We're going positive. Here we go, Valencia, corner. We worked on our attacking corners, it's in. Gomez heads it in, that's his 23rd of the season for the striker. We're going back to balanced. And we're up one nil. No wiggles, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, we'd basically be up 2 nothing. But if it is 1-1 at the end of full time, it should be extra time. Both center backs on a yellow. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. We haven't seen Mina do anything. Game's been all us, though. From what little there has been. They're not doing... Much of anything. They got one shot, none on target. Uh, we can we can find that next gear, okay? Just keep keep it going, keep going. Mina, come on, dude. Don't tell me he's a player who doesn't show up in big games. He's wanted by two MLS teams, Salt Lake and Houston. Garcia's not doing good. Not there on the right wing. Play for set pieces? Yeah, we might. We haven't done anything in this half. Make a change or just leave it? They're going to score a late goal. He's one card away from a yellow. Who cares? This is the last game of the season. You don't want him to miss the opener. Forget that you're in the final. I mean, nothing is happening. I think we get Garcia off. Cordoba's nervous. You're our best center back, dude. Come on. We could bring on Chong. Oh, Chong's nervous. Could bring on Augustin Torres. I don't like my bench. It's always a problem, isn't it? Both of my backup center midfielders are not fit at all. Chong's nervous. Victoria could come on, but Abulashov is he's pleased at least. 6.6 .6 isn't great. What to do, what to do. Let's get Garcia off for Chong. We'll swap these two at some point. But right now, I don't want to make too many changes. He's still nervous. Damn it, Chong. They made a sub. We're closing in here on the end. Not a lot going on. 80th minute. They're not creating anything. They're not changing their formation either. Everybody's nervous. Tardo and Laverne are both playing pretty good. We'll try and swap these guys out one time. The 
I kind of just want to leave it. Could bring in Bergaglio for Valencia. He is they're pretty much the same player. Bergaglio is probably maybe a little bit more defensive, but slower. Maybe Torres. But I already brought Chong on. It's always tough. Here we go. This is this is gonna be them, isn't it? It's us in the attacking third. Here we go. What can we work? Can we get a second goal here? Mina? Atardo. Mina, drive inside. Plays Laverne. Takes a shot low down. It's missed. It's wide. They're making another sub. Their third sub. Not much time left here. We can start ticking this on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of counter press. We can keep the rest. We're pressing them up pretty high. They're not creating anything. They got nothing. Close it out. We'll do a very, very, very late last second sub unless we get us another one here. I don't think so. As Ortega grabs it. All of our nervous players with the last, the, the dying breath of the game. Can we close him down? They lift it over the top. Is Diaz threw in on goal? He might be. He misses it wide. Diaz had a chance. And he missed it. He's anxious, anxious, nervous. Anxious energy might be okay at this point, actually. Something I don't normally do is take Cordoba out. He, that was kind of his fault. We're going to do this. I actually haven't played with Cordoba over here at all this season. But he's going to go fullback defend. We're going to go fullback support with Bergaglio. We're going to drop you two. Well, just to Bulishov. And go cautious. And drop in just a little bit. You can keep pressing up. Up top. See it through. Reyes, he's nervous. Can we do it? Two minutes. Highlight. You saw my last Celestia game. You see how bad I am in the closing moments of games. Cordoba over the top. Nope. Header. Mina holds it down through Chong. Plays it back. We're maintaining possession well here. Over the top to Chong. We can seal it. Chong can. He's a shot. At least it's our highlight. Let's uh, fire him up, piss him all off, and let's close this thing out and lift the cup. Abulashov, take your time, son. Take your time, son. Lots of fans out here today. Tons of fans coming in to watch this all-important final for the league in this massive empty state. We don't even get to see it. We just raised the trophy. We did it. What a beautiful trophy it looks like. Looks like a small little thing. Look at that goalkeeper. Looks like a Pez dispenser. There we are. I got to change my outfit. Do they have this in the attire? Because I'd love to throw it on. But here's the first confetti. There's all our fans in the stands. There they are. The Dominican confetti. We did it. We did it, boys. That's not an objective, but it points us in the right direction of one, which is win the Caribbean Cup. That's our goal, is to win that next season, which we certainly can do. This was a tight, tight little contest with Pantoja, though. So they're tough. Very happy. Got the result. We didn't play great, but we got the result. Garcia was garbage. Mina wasn't that great either. It was a header from Haler Gomez. Many people played a big role. It was mostly just me, but... All right, first piece of silverware is through. Let's see if we get any end-of-season stuff. You're right. They didn't deserve anything. 
ahead of schedule. I enter the Dominican Hall of Fame already with one domestic division. I just need one more and I'll be the best coach that ever was in the Dominican Republic. They're ecstatic. You can have the assistant coach. We paid out $1.1,000 to squad and coaching staff for winning the league. I'm confident we all believed in ourselves. All right, Romero's out. Okay, I don't know if we're going to see any budgets or anything like that. We have a next season payroll, which is 425 k So that's going up. Somehow, maybe we're going to get some money somewhere along the way. Around February time frame, but... That's it for season one. We won in our only competition that we played. We haven't lost in forever. We only lost one time this entire season to Pantoja. And we turned it around and beat them pretty much every other time we played them. A couple draws there. Oh, we can check in on Seabow real quick. Because they're playing in the Caribbean Cup. And they won their first game against Arnett Gardens. Mount Pleasant, the other Jamaican team, is up 3-0. Their next game is on October 1st. We'll see if they make it to the final real quick and see if stuff comes in. Record high for us, of course. Oh, we have records from previous seasons. Crazy. No, but it's broken up into like opening and closing stages. Yeah, we dominated. Look, wait, zero losses? Well, for the second phase. Who wins? Molinari. John Ramirez from Pantoja gets young player of the season. You know what that means. He's out of a contract. He wants a bit of money. Maybe we'll try and bring this guy in. He's already on my short list. He's got an Argentinian second nationality. He, they used him as a sub, which is probably... He was at our team before. What? We do have one transfer coming in. David Barnett, American. We, don't, we can't see how good he is, but I think he's going to be okay. He's coming in real cheap, like 7000 So, all right, let's, let's skip ahead here. Let's get to it. Season stats... Dolphins of the East. All right, season preview, or review, rather. A+. plus. They love Sebastian Valencia. I mean, they should love everybody that I brought in. Finances, sponsorship is good, I guess. Broadcast revenue, only $9,000. $2,000 in merchandise. Yep, we know the team. History in the making. Here's my timeline. Nobody cares about that. Season review. Supporters. We've almost doubled our social media followers. That's good. We just need to work towards winning it. I did sign a new contract for another season. We're coming back. Let's talk about it. Congratulations on winning the title. We're winning it again. They love it. Good reaction. No promises. That's all I got. See you guys later. They love it. Green all over. Team reports good. They're on a, uh, they're on the break. Oh, this is going to be a problem. You guys are going to want to be here for this. Juan David Gonzalez. He made me promise to improve the training facilities. I asked twice. The board said no because of reasons. It was locked into the negotiation. So what do I say here? Um, I'll discuss it with the board as a matter of urgency. I'll just say I talked to the board and they wouldn't go for it. This is a big issue for me. I only hope I can... We're getting nowhere here, but this... I'm a professional, so I'll stop there. That's good. I'm not happy how this has gone, though. He's hurt. He's not happy. But I think the saving grace, honestly, is that I have an extension so that 
I think that makes it so he can't be like full on. I'm leaving because I'll be like, I'll just extend your contract then. Maybe. Money is a problem. We didn't get any money for winning the league. Keep a Tardo at the club. Yeah. If we can. They want to give him a chance in the first team? Wait, five months? Is this contract running out? Yeah, our season ends in November, which is really strange, but... I mean, we could bring him back in for five months, I guess. If they'll go for it. For whatever, 100k. Most of the other guys, I can't. They won't go for it, but... I mean, regular starter? He does play midfield center, but I'd rather have the option. Wow, they're playing hardball here. Okay, that's fine. That's what he was, basically. All right, that's confirmed. Let's actually try and get the other guys in. I'll take care of this later. I just want to see the 16 trials finish. I just want to see how Sebao did. He's back. Great. Youth candidates don't sign anybody. This is the this is the youthies coming in, by the way. No thanks. That's the best player. Good talent, decent talents. I disagree. They're all crap. This guy's one star center back. Mm, actually, you know what? He might be kind of semi okay, but two stars. Maybe. I'll consider. Maybe just that guy. Everybody's happy. We're scouting this right winger. Doesn't want to come here for Seabow. Speaking of Seabow, how did they do? They got through, so they play Mount Pleasant, so that means they qualified for the Champions Cup. And they play Mount Pleasant in a two-leg tie. So next episode, I will be, I'll fill you in on what happened in the final of the Caribbean Cup. And I'll let you know how our transfer window went for the start of next season, where we will be challenging for the Caribbean Cup. But hit like, hit subscribe down below. Follow the Twitch link. Go catch me over there every now and again. Thanks for watching. First piece of silverware down. Plenty more to come. We'll see you next time.